sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. But I won't be around at all, so don't even bother to call. Cause on a day like today, there's one place I gotta be. Gone fishing. Bill Dance, Outdoors, sponsored by Walmart. Always low prices, always. Quantum and its innovative Timag and ACS reels. Terminator, titanium fishing lures, not without imitation, absolutely without equal. Excalibur, world-class fishing lures. And by Procraft Boats, it's tough to top a pro. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. No matter what sport you're into, you got to check out Walmart's Sporting Goods Department. Got a youngster or a fishing buddy looking for a great spinning combo? Well, scoot on over to Walmart, and you'll find this rugged Quantum Hypercast 2. There's only one cooler, Igloo. This 48-quart Igloo has a convenient dual lid. I like that. Has a drain plug and keeps icy beverages cold forever. <laughs> well, almost. At a fantastic price. Remember, with Walmart's everyday low prices and great selection, why go anyplace else? It's a one-sided conversation. Your hands will talk. The real will listen and quietly do what it's told. The externally adjustable centrifugal braking system available on the Quantum Accurist ACS. Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Dance. Once again, Fisher Marine has built another fine line of products. These new Fishers display bold new graphics and design with all the features you've come to expect at an exceptional value. Quality, maneuverability, comfort, and stability. And most of all, good looks. They're all built in to the finest aluminum fishing boat made. Fisher. For a free Fisher brochure, call 1-800-226-FISHER. Topwater, most valuable players. The Hedden Zara Spook. The Rebel Pop R. And the Arbogast Jitterbug. Add the Excalibur Poppin' Image. It's the most natural poppin' shad imitator ever. The Poppin' Image spits or walks with an action that says, Bite me. Each is equipped with Excalibur hooks and a finish that screams both realism and durability. Excalibur Poppin' Image. On the surface, it's my most valuable player. Come on along with champion angler Shaw Grigsby. Not only will he take you fishing all across North America, but he'll show you ways to catch them too. It's One More Cast with Shaw Grigsby, Sunday night at 8.30 Eastern on TNN Outdoors. Closed captioning is provided courtesy of Unwired, makers of the Bill Dance two-way radio. Outdoorsmen appreciate the water-resistant design and hands-free operation. Up to two miles range, 14 channels, 38 subcodes. Check that now, Orlando. Not bad, is it? <laughs> nope, not bad at all. Boy, what a wonderful, wonderful fish to fish for. You know, I honestly believe that the main reason largemouth bass are such a challenging game fish is because they seem to be more influenced by environmental changes than most other species. You know, nearly everything that happens in the air and in the water has an effect 
on most freshwater game fish, especially the bass. Normally, two or more conditions are in fluctuation at the same time, simply because they're all related. And everything that happens in the atmosphere affects the watery world of fish eventually. In all my years of fishing, one of the key things I've noticed about shallow water fishing is the dramatic environmental influence the barometric pressure has on fish. Ironically, this is one influence that biologists, ichthyologists, and serious fishermen have studied least. Maybe it's because the equipment is so delicate that it's difficult to take to the lake. Plus, the whole equation gets doggone complicated when you try to measure it against water pressure, which also changes as the fish changes depths. It's a known fact that even minor barometric pressure changes affect a fish's swim bladder. This air-filled sac is to a fish what the inner ear is to a human. When the barometric pressure rises quickly, it exerts pressure upon the bladder, thus affecting the fish's equilibrium, making it hard for the fish to maintain perfect balance. And, <laughs> of course, this affects their behavior and appetite. All right, go. Oh, what do you say? What do you say there, sport model? Huh? Come here, you little. Come here, you little rascal. And just be careful what you're doing right there. Open that dead gum mouth. Hmm. Got me with a hook, didn't you? But you won't again. Got you in the bottom lip again. There we go. I'm sure you've heard the term barometric pressure many, many times, but do you know what it means? Well, simply put, it's the pressure of the atmosphere at a given point in time, and it's measured by a barometer, which is an instrument for determining the pressure of the atmosphere and for predicting probable weather changes. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Hey, another little fellow right there. Come back here. All right. You've done it. You've done it. Easy, easy. There we go. Well, you got it too, didn't you? <laughs> Woo! That ain't too shabby. About 20 to 25 years ago, I really started watching the barometer very closely. I had a cheap one that worked fairly well, but I also checked with the local weather service before and after every trip which gave me a very good indication of how pressure fluctuation affect bass behavior. All fishermen know that the barometer has a dramatic and immediate effect on a fish's personality and even his mood. Without question, pressure is an important element that really influences fish behavior, especially shallow water fish. Now, as a result of major pressure changes, fish that stay deep, the deep water fish are less affected and this is why they're more dependable on low pressure days. Something to keep in mind is that barometric pressure doesn't change dramatically during just a few hours unless a major storm is moving your way. Wildlife, just like fish, can predict the weather better than the Weather Channel or the National Weather Service. Mother Nature has given her creatures the uncanny ability to not only know of an approaching weather system, but just about how long it's gonna last. As a general rule, I concentrate my efforts in shallow water on a falling pressure and deeper on a rise. Now, normally, barometric fluctuations are more important during the late fall, winter, and early to mid spring, because that's when the fronts are the strongest that seem to move from both the northwest 
and due north across the country. Fronts that occurred during the summer and early fall seem to move more from the southwest and the west and have less effect, plus the recovery time is much quicker during these warmer periods of the year. Lots of folks think that the perfect day to be fishing is a beautiful day when the sun is out and the sky is blue <laughs> and there's not a cloud to spoil the view. But let me tell you, most times that's the worst conditions to catch fish because that's the conditions you normally get just after a front has passed through. Blue, blue skies, not a cloud to be seen. You know, it's these type days when the pressure goes up and up and the fish go down and down and move into thick cover and seem to get lockjaw. Now, when these conditions occur, you've got to really slow down and use lures that you can work extremely slow. Those that appear less likely to escape, like worms, grubs, jig and pork combinations are a good choice. Lures that can be fished at a snail's pace, even suspending baits, cranked down and stopped and worked extremely slow, do a fantastic job like the lure we're using today. It's one of my favorites. You've seen me use it lots of times. It's a big size, a deep diving, fat-free shad. It's a suspending model that'll run to depths of about 18 feet. The majority of the fish that we're catching out here today, we're catching on a ridge that extends out from my left all the way to my right. Out toward the end of the ridge is about 12 to 14 feet of water. We're casting across the ridge running the bait across the end of it and paralleling as much of it as we can. We're catching a few fish up on the shallow section of it, but the majority of better fish are out off the deeper end of it. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. For your free Tennessee vacation guide, call 1-800-GO-TO-TENN. Tennessee sounds good to me. call yourself a fisherman. You think you're going to land my big scaly butt with that? Look at me, man. I'm huge. But, but a 17-pound test. Look, 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 17-pound test. Look, Shiner Lips. What if I run or hide in structure? <laughs> or what if I fight back? You think that line's going to hold? No, Mr. Minnow. You need this. Strand. Extra strength. More than 50% stronger than the label rating. More strength, no breaks. Now, what do you say to the nice fishing? Thank you. Catch and release. Say it. Catch and release. Atta boy. Beware. Not all titanium lures are created equal. Only Terminator's patent pending T1 series offers anglers tournament proven success. Built with the best components money can buy, the T1 is without a doubt the most premium series of spinner baits in fishing. And did I mention, Terminator helped me catch one of my biggest bass ever. And now the T2 value series makes Terminator affordable for all anglers. So tie on a Terminator, not an imitator. Riverside, soft plastic lures for serious anglers. Serious about soft plastic quality and aggressive new styles? Riverside is our choice. Like the new Viber King tubes that really move water, with a solid head that delivers fish catching durability and ribs that create feel and vibration along with color choices second to none. Plus, Riverside is loaded with yum, a natural shad attractant that fish smell, then taste. Riverside. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Pennzoil Marine. Try Pennzoil Marine Premium Plus, a synthetic blend for added engine protection and less smoke, or new Pennzoil 100% synthetic. All the advantages of a synthetic, plus it's biodegradable. Where are you going? Come back here. Come here. Come here. Come up here to me. This big old long rod. Woo! <coughs> look at the stomach on that. 
Honey Bunny. There we go. Look at this. That a big, fat, pretty baby right there? Yes, you are. Oh, I like it. All right, let you go. See ya. Let me ask you this. How many times have you heard a fisherman say? Now, I used to hear my granddaddy say this more times than I can count. Winds out of the east, fish bite the least. Winds out of the west, fish bite the best. Winds out of the north, don't venture forth. And winds out of the south, blow the bait in the fish's mouth. <laughs> How many times have you heard that? I'll bet a bunch. Well, first of all, the direction of the wind doesn't directly affect fishing. I've caught fish in all wind directions, except when it was blowing so doggone hard, I couldn't get out, or it was too strong to fish a particular spot that I wanted to fish. However, there is some truth about wind direction. Actually, it lies in the barometer. That's right. It deals with fronts. A strong, brisk north or east wind will, as a general rule, indicate a fast weather change. Therefore, a drastic change in the barometric pressure. Gusty south or west winds usually indicate a slow changing weather condition, thus minor changes in the pressure. It's not that the wind affects fish behavior, but that the barometer pressure affects the wind and the fish behavior. Yes, sir. As soon as I stopped it. Boy, they just stay deep, don't they? That is going to get me. Oh, boy. Boy, I can't do anything with it. Ooh, look at here. Look at the size of that fish right there. Boy. Looked a lot bigger than that when he was running. Come on. All right, buddy. Now don't throw those hooks at me. Look at here. Look at here. There we go. That's a pretty little fat, chunky butterball, baby looking deal right there, ain't he? Look at that side. He's got an uh, ick on him or something there. That side's pretty clean. I don't know what that is. Anchor worms or something. We'll see you. I think it would be only fair to say that most fishermen have noticed a time when they were really whacking the fish and all of a sudden, they stop biting at the same time, the wind change direction. You know, this happens so often, but again, it's not the wind. A dramatic shift in wind direction is the result of a frontal passage. Ow. Here it come, there it goes. Where's he stop? Nobody knows. <laughs> Look at that sweet little thing. He got that fat free shed stuck in his big fat face. Okay, Dr. Dance is gonna do a little surgery on the right side of your mouth. And I'm gonna let you go. See you some other time. If I've said this once, I've said it a thousand times. The best time to go fishing is any time you can go. But if you can pick your trip to coincide with the fish's most active times, it'll surely pay for you to get the best weather forecast in current conditions. There he is. Yes, sir. -y. A man couldn't stand it, could he?
Come on back. Come on. Come here. Come here. Not one of them's on that bow. What are you doing there, buddy? Come on back here. Okay, tell you what, let's spend a minute and let me tell you what I've experienced with different ranges of pressure, the good and the bad. I live in West Tennessee and our normal pressure is about 30 inches of mercury. Naturally, any readings below 30 is low and anything above 30 is high, relatively speaking. An optimum range would be 29.95 to let's say 30.05. Without question, some of my best catches and biggest fish have occurred from mid-spring to early fall after several days of normal pressure with an approaching front, which caused the pressure to fall extremely fast, more than 10 to 15 points in a few hours. Normally, during this time, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see bad weather moving your way, and the fish normally just go on a feeding frenzy. Now, normally these feeding sprees are short-lived, and to take advantage of them, well, you run the risk of possible high winds and dangerous lightning. Oh, good boy. <laughs> good head, Buster. Woo! Isn't that... You calm down. Pretty thing. All right, come here. All right, be easy now. Be easy. Be easy. <laughs> he couldn't stand it, could he? Yes, you are. Well, got to go for now. Today's been fun and highly productive. We've had everything in our favor. We used a good bait, the right color, the proper presentation at an ideal depth, and most importantly, we had no pressure on us. As far as that goes, neither did the bass. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bill Dance Today. Stay tuned after these messages for Bill's Fishing Tip of the Week. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency has been wildlife's partner for 50 years. Wildlife, hunters, fishermen, and the environment profit from their sound management. Please support your local wildlife agency. They deserve it. No matter what sport you're into, you've got to check out Walmart's Sporting Goods Department. Anytime you're afloat, you must have a PFD. It's the law. These stylish, comfortable, and adjustable models are just perfect. The name Stearns says it all. Everybody needs a flashlight, right? So why not get one of the best? The reliable Maglite. It's American-made, water and shock resistant, with a limited lifetime warranty. Remember, with Walmart's everyday low prices and great selection, why go anyplace else? It delivers 107 pounds of thrust. It weighs 27% less than its closest competitor. And it has a patented all-metal machete prop that delivers all 107 pounds of thrust without a hint of flex or vibration. That's not just a motor. That's a miracle. Introducing the new hyperdrive lower unit for Motor Guide. Take on the world. With Strike King, I've won $110,750.28. I've won $850,476.78. Two classic wins with Strike King. $907,333.56. Beat that. Use this with these. Get this. For powerfully versatile GPS, the Lowrance Global Map 1600 delivers with built-in background mapping and the power to add enhanced mapping databases from the included IMS CD-ROM, you won't believe the details. The new LMS 160 map combines famed Lowrance sonar performance and CD-ROM mapping all in one unit and all on one screen. Lowrance, we find you fish. If you're not reeling in fish like these, then you need some in-fisherman television. 
tips from the people who know fishing. <laughs> so catch In Fisherman Television today at noon Eastern and Pacific on TNN Outdoors. Bill's new product tip of the week is brought to you by Plano Tackle Systems and the newly designed and versatile 758 drawer system. Plano, building your trust with quality. Here's a brand new product I'm really excited about. Bill Nance fish batter. In fact, it's so good it'd make a log tim rat taste like a T-bone steak. This is one of the only products you can use to bake or fry almost anything with. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Also check out the all-purpose better breader, which makes breading easy, clean, and quick. Boy, this is good. Bill Dance Outdoors has been brought to you by Walmart. Always low prices, always. Riverside, Bill's favorite soft plastic lures. Eagle Claw, makers of Eagle Claw fish hooks for 75 years. Stren, from original to new sensor, Stren makes the most dependable fishing lines in the world. Motor Guide, take on the world. Fisher, the boats of a lifetime. Mercury Outboards, the water calls. AutoZone, the best parts in auto parts. And by Strike King Lures. We'd also like to thank these other fine sponsors. Plano Tackle Systems, Tennessee Tourism, Lowrance Electronics, Benzoil Marine, Unwired, Bill Dance Two-Way Radios, and Chevrolet Trucks, the official vehicles of Bill Dance Outdoors. I know the car needs washing, the roof had a leak. My income tax was due last week. But I don't care because I'm gone fishing today. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.